So we are inside uh, El Angolo Game Reserve in the northern coast of Peru. And this area that we see here, um, this is a seasonally dry forest ecosystem, also known as the equatorial dry forest. We can also see in the back, the landscape in the hills, it's uh, not looking as green. And here all the trees, or most of them, are just uh, totally leafless. Some of these trees, the majority of them, are actually just dead, standing. This is a bit of the ongoing uh, degradation that is taking place here and uh, we are inside a, a reserve where this of course shouldn't be happening. So our vision in establishing a savory hub here in El Angolo is to apply holistic management and ecosystem restoration with local goat herding communities here and at the same time train and influence other nearby communities and also public and private uh, officials uh, all over the northern coast of Peru. As we know, grazing takes place here, uh, not properly managed. You can see the ground here, there's some litter, there's some organic material, some uh, dung, uh, which seems very old, so the dung itself is also in a way uh, oxidizing and it's not completing its whole uh, deco decomposition process biologically. Uh, we can see a lot of also bare ground, um, a lot of grasses that are also uh, just uh, in the air, oxidizing. Uh, this is not uh, a very good situation, as we know. This is a brittle environment, uh, quite arid, um, northern coast of Peru. And uh, of course, it's, as you can see, a challenging setting, but we like this very much. We like the biodiversity here. It's quite biodiverse. Lots of uh, different species of birds, um, some of them endemic, uh, endemic to, to the whole Tumbician area, and endemic bird area. Some of them even endemic just to Peru here. There are basically two sister communities between themselves. They are approximately 70 families uh, divided in the two communities of Hernandez. And they are of course uh, marginalized uh, people, uh, quite, uh, quite forgotten by the, the state, the government. Uh, it's quite a remote area. We don't even have um, a good access, uh, roads, uh, communications are also a challenge. Um, not even phone signal is sometimes available here mostly so uh, yeah it's quite quite a remote area but of course uh, the potential to recover is always there we just just now uh, came out of a workshop um, doing the defining the whole and drawing the holistic context with um, pretty much all the attendants from the communities here uh, that wanted to go to this workshop these are the communities of fernandez in el angolo and very near uh, the boundaries of el angolo and which are still within the zone of influence uh, of the game reserve and some of these families they come here they are allowed to come into the reserve to graze but again they are not really following any kind of plan and we can see the result right this is pretty much uh, how the certification looks after a good year of rains we are already of course in the dry season but uh, um, the wet season was uh, gone maybe two three months ago so this should be looking uh, totally different but at the same time we seem to have already the tools here necessary to work with the people and to um, turn things around. So here in El Angolo Game Reserve and in the surrounding areas of the communities of Fernandez, this is quite a, a special place to establish an ecosystem restoration hub under holistic management because this area is actually the birthplace of several important waterways or quebradas that influence a very big stretch of coast in, the, in this part of uh, northern Peru, in the province of Talara, inside the region of Piura. So that is an important point. There's also the fact that we are inside a game reserve. We can be working uh, side by side in partnership with the National Service of Natural Protected Areas in Peru. So they are already our partners. Uh, they've been collaborating with us for the past few months. And just overall with the logistics and the park rangers and being able to reach the people, the locals, and engage with them through uh, the officials of Sarnam, they are just a, a key ally to have here and at the same time this already means that we are working in an area of land that's already uh, ordered in terms of property, titles, which is not always the case when we go outside uh, the protected area. I think this adds uh, a feeling of also of safety to the hub that we know that uh, we're backed by the government. So our team of course would be made up of members from Ecoswell uh, the local um, CERNAMP team 
who are in charge of this game reserve. Um, we can see here in the back, this is the control post of Sarnam and our friends and park rangers are there over there right now. And um, they will also be part of the team and of course locals, uh, local leaders, people inhabiting this area that belong to the communities of Fernandez, they will also be part of the team. And uh, I would hope of course to be leading this whole initiative. I would like to uh, get some official training and accreditation from another savory hub uh, from somewhere else around the world. And hopefully we can take some of the local people here to come along on that uh, trip and uh, get some training as well so that then we can come back, we can transfer that knowledge, train more trainers and overall organize our team in that sense.